Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We have integral over positive x of log x log 1 plus x squared, the inverse tangent of x over 1 plus x squared. I start by obtaining an integral representation of this product of the inverse tangent of x times log 1 plus x squared. Consider positive x and the integral omega, which is integral y from 0 to 1, 2x log 1 minus y over y, divided by 1 plus x squared y squared. Let's do the change of variables t equal to 1 minus y over y, which means that y is 1 over 1 plus t. This logarithm becomes log t. When y tends to 0 from above, t tends to infinity. When y tends to 1 from below, t tends to 0. dy is minus dt over 1 plus t squared. We can use this minus sign to have our integration from 0 to infinity. After simplifying, we get integral t from 0 to infinity to x log t over x squared plus 1 plus t squared. The denominator can be written as 1 plus t plus i x times 1 plus t minus i x. We do another change of variables, u equal to 1 plus i x times 1 minus i x divided by t, which means that u is equal to 1 plus x squared divided by t. When we use this substitution, this bracket becomes 1 plus i x times 1 minus i x divided by u plus 1 plus i x. This can be taken as an outside factor. We are left with 1 minus i x over u plus 1. This other bracket becomes 1 plus i x times 1 minus i x over u plus 1 minus i x. We can take 1 minus i x as a common factor. Inside this bracket, we have 1 plus i x over u plus 1. So the product of these two brackets is 1 plus i x times 1 minus i x, 1 minus i x over u plus 1 times 1 plus i x over u plus 1. These terms go away. When these brackets are multiplied by u squared, we get u plus 1 plus i x times u plus 1 minus i x. In the numerator, log t is replaced by log 1 plus x squared minus log u. Thus, omega is equal to this integral here minus 2x integral over positive u of log u over the product of these two brackets. This part here is exactly equal to minus omega. So omega is equal to x log 1 plus x squared integral over positive u of 1 over x squared plus u plus 1 squared. The antiderivative is 1 over x, the inverse tangent of u plus 1 divided by x, x over x, that's 1. When we use the limits of integration, as u tends to infinity, this inverse tangent tends to pi over 2. As u tends to 0, we get the inverse tangent of 1 over x. We know that for a positive x, the inverse tangent of x plus the inverse tangent of 1 over x is equal to pi over 2. This bracket can be written as the inverse tangent of x, which is multiplied by log 1 plus x squared. This means that we can go back to our original integration. We can write down this product using this integral. Our integral of interest becomes a double integral, x from 0 to infinity, y from 0 to 1. We have log x over 1 plus x squared multiplied by 2x log 1 minus y over y over 1 plus x squared y squared. Do the substitution x equal to the square root of t. Log x becomes 1 half log t. 1 plus x squared becomes 1 plus t. This x is replaced by t to the power 1 half. And this x squared is replaced by t. dx is 1 half t to the minus half dt. Let's do the integration with respect to t first. So we have an outer integral with respect to y. 1 half times 2 times 1 half, that's 1 half. The term log 1 minus y over y does not depend on t. The inner integral is t from 0 to infinity. Log t divided by 1 plus t times 1 plus t y squared. We can use the change of variables w equal to 1 over y squared times t. The numerator becomes 2 log y minus log w. Downstairs, we get 1 plus 1 over w y squared times 1 plus 1 over w. dt is minus dw over y squared w squared. Multiplying these two brackets by w squared, we get w plus 1 over y squared. The other bracket is w plus 1. If we split this integral into two integrals, we get 2 log y over y squared, integral over positive w of w plus 1, w plus 1 over y squared, minus integral over positive w of log w over w plus 1. When this bracket is multiplied by y squared, we get 1 plus w y squared. This part here is minus i of w. This integral as a function of w is 1 half of this quantity. We can do partial fractions. The antiderivative is log w plus 1 over w plus 1 over y squared. As w tends to infinity, the argument of the logarithm tends to 1, log 1 is 0. If w tends to 0 from above, we get log 1 over 1 over y squared. That's 2 log y. 2 log y times log y, that's 2 times the square of log y. In the denominator, we have 1 minus y squared. So our integral of interest is integral y from 0 to 1 log 1 minus y divided by y, log y squared divided by 1 minus y squared. 
we can write log 1 minus y over y as log 1 minus y minus log y. We can also write 1 over 1 minus y squared as 1 half times between brackets 1 over 1 minus y plus 1 over 1 plus y. We can write this integral in terms of three integrals. One of them is integral from 0 to 1 minus log y cubed divided by 1 minus y squared. The other two integrals are 1 half y from 0 to 1 log 1 minus y times the square of log y. The difference is that here we divide by 1 minus y, there we divide by 1 plus y. To evaluate this integral, write 1 over 1 minus y squared as summation g from 0 to infinity, y to the 2g. Integrating term by term, we need to do this integral. We have the general result that the integral x from 0 to 1, x to the e log x to the b, is minus 1 to the b, gamma of b plus 1, over a plus 1 to the power b plus 1. In our case here, we have minus 1 to the power 3, that's minus 1. We have gamma of 4, which is 3 factorial O6. We need to divide by 2j plus 1 to the power 4. This summation is zeta of 4, 1 minus 1 over 16. Zeta of 4 is pi to the power 4 over 90. This integral is pi to the power 4 divided by 16. We have previously obtained these two integrals. Adding the results, we get that the integral of interest is 47 pi to the power 4 over 720 minus log 2 to the power 4 divided by 12 plus log 2 squared times pi squared over 12 minus 2 times the polylogarithm of order 4 with argument 1 half.